Leo, this is your monthly March astrology report, sold astrology report for Leo sun sign, Leo rising and Leo moon. You have got a lot going on in your top half of your chart, but it's also quite a deep side of your chart, especially if you've got Leo rising, Leo. Now, let's start with the second of the month. There's a new moon in Pisces in your eighth house of spirituality. Now, you've had this eighth house highlighted a lot in the last few years. You've got Neptune there. You've got Jupiter. You've got Mercury and you've got the sun all in Pisces. And now you've got this new moon. What does it mean? Eighth house is about death, not literal death well it can be sometimes it's a physical journey of transformation a physical healing for you of transformation a new cycle a new beginning a new start in your life so you're learning spiritually how to connect with yourself through healing through maybe taking a chance on reiki healing meditation spiritual endeavours in order for your mind to clear, in order for your psychology to improve. Because this is about, you know, you gaining a lot of ground through psychotherapy, healing, wisdom work. Spiritual awakenings can be quite common when you've got so many planets in your eighth house. So this is really cathartic for you. Now, looking across the road from your Leo sun sign, your house there, the seventh house, is very much activated here. On the sixth, if you're in the States, and then the seventh, if you're in the UK, Venus and Mars come and join Saturn in Aquarius, which has been there for quite some time, and Mercury. Now, again, you've been asked to connect in with your partnerships, with your relationships with others. Now, if Leo, some of you Leos who are developing a partnership, this is quite interesting for you because this will help you become stronger. What you want, you can convey to your partnership. You can share things. You can also detach from things as well. If you're struggling, this will help you to see things better and to say, OK, I now know I need to leave you or I now know I need to stay. We need to develop our relationship in a much better way, in a different way than we ever have done before in our lives, especially, Leo, with the long term Leo relationships to the marriage, to the partnerships that's been around for 15, 20 years to people who have been in a relationship with someone for the last few years and now you're going to develop it once and for all. This is beautiful. This is really something that you can really get your head around. Don't feel fear about it because Mars is giving you the assertion in order for you either to break away from something or to begin something or to develop something. Venus draws her energy towards you you know she's the Venus she's Venus she doesn't go out to get you like Mars Venus goes come come and learn come and learn love how to love yourself through others what are you willing to put up with or what are you willing to let go of Mercury is there in your opposite sign of Aquarius until the 10th and then he leaps into Pisces now imagine air falling into water it bubbles doesn't it so mercury is not too happy being in pisces but it's not the end of the world mercury is logic he's a logical planet when he goes into pisces it's like when are we going to meet um well in a few hours no 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 i want to know no in a couple of hours i'll let you know that annoys mercury like anything but what it does for you it gains some spirituality for you it helps you to go deep into your mind, into your psyche, in order for you to heal. On the 20th, if you're in the States, and on the 21st, if you're in the UK, the sun enters Aries. 
very, very nice for you. Much, much better. You take that fire energy and you run with it. On the 18th, there's a wonderful full moon in your second house. You're able to release some any problems that you've had there with your finances and get on and be a bit more pragmatic with a lot of energetic work and self-belief. On the 20th, there's um, Mercury again jumping into Aries, helping you to have a lot more vision and a lot more spiritual awakenings. Okay, thank you, Leo. If you would like a reading from me, an astrology reading, contact me on J A S M I N E James on my Instagram page and on my Facebook page. Look forward to speaking to you next month. Bye.